air dry. We've got a tunnel, and it's important that you guys pay attention to what you don't hear. I mean, that sounds nice and all, but you don't hear a wicked exhaust. Quiet, too quiet. Hello, how you guys doing down there? I appreciate you guys sticking around, hanging out, stopping by to say hi. Also hope you're all crushing life. The Hellcat is looking mighty fine and I'm excited to say we finally have a big time mod being installed on the Hellcat soon. And by soon, I obviously mean not in this video, but in the next video or the one after that, guaranteed big time mod up or I'll never post again. If I don't get that mod installed, on the Hellcat, I'll never never post uh, again, I'm sorry. I am gonna add one caveat though, that's assuming the package actually arrives and doesn't get stolen off a train or sink in the ocean. Assuming that doesn't happen, it's gonna happen. Today we're gonna go check out the Bronco, I haven't seen it, I'm excited to show you guys, it's gonna look amazing. Big update, we went green as you guys know, but we went green plaid. Obviously that's a joke guys, come on. But first, yeah buddy, let's go. Now, besides going to check out the Bronco, we gotta talk about the Bentley, because the Bentley, we got a major little problem with the Bentley. I'm honestly super nervous and stressed out about the Bentley and the greater potential of things continuing to go wrong with it. So much so that I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep it. The only saving grace I have is lessons I've learned in life, that when expenses go up in your life, you've gotta shop and find other expenses that you can reduce. And that's where Policy Genius comes into play for me and for you. That's why I'm excited to announce today's video sponsored by Policy Genius. You need home and auto insurance? Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find and buy insurance that you need. To start comparing quotes, make sure you go to policygenius.com slash burlacker, because that's what I'm gonna need to do, because there are certain things with a Bentley that I can't control. I can't control when it breaks and the repair costs that much, but I can control how much I pay every month to an insurance company. Now I know I'm super fortunate to own a Bentley and I shouldn't complain, but one thing that I can complain about that we all can complain about right now is inflation. The rising cost of everything is hitting all of our pockets. And one thing that we can do to help offset those rising costs is use Policy Genius. Customers have saved on average $1,250 per year over their existing policy. Also, reshopping and bundling your home and auto insurance with Policy Genius could lead to savings that you could put towards your next mod or, or your home project, but probably your next mod. Policy Genius does not sell your info to third parties. They also have thousands of five star reviews across Google and Trustpilot. And since 2014, Policy Genius has helped over 30 million people shop for insurance and placed $120 billion in coverage. Getting started is super easy. Simply go to policygenius.com slash burlacker, answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Their team of experts will look for ways to save you more, especially when you bundle your home and auto insurance. And it's important to know the Policy Genius team works for you, not the insurance companies. If they find a better rate than what you're paying now, they'll switch you over for free. Remember, go to policygenius.com slash burlacker and get your free home and auto insurance quotes and see how much you could save. And thanks to Policy Genius for sponsoring this video and this channel. Now, back to the Bentley, back to the pretty embarrassing situation I was in, current situation I'm in that's still kind of embarrassing, the biggest, dumbest little problem that I'm having that just is stressing me out. That was new. That's not even the, the that's not even the problem. That's a new noise. Great. Now what I'm about to do is extremely risky. You see, the problem is that's as far as I can drive it. In fact, probably the farthest I'll ever drive it again. And I know, I know, this is gonna be dramatic and stupid. This is literally the biggest, dumbest little problem I've ever had, but it's it's kind of a big deal. You see, I cannot open the fuel cap door. That's right, I, I, I can't get it open. I can't put fuel in it. So I'm driving home the other day on the freeway, rush hour traffic, there was an accident, it was stop and go on the freeway, realized the gas light is on. I'm like, I can make it to my exit. I made it, I got off the exit, got into the gas station. I'm on a conference call this whole time too. 
kind of awkward, pull into the gas station, jump out, hit the fuel cap uh, lever switch, run around to the car, the, the fuel cap, it won't open. I'm trying to play it cool, calm, and collected, run back to the door, hit the gas lever switch again, run back, not open. I spent 10 minutes at the gas station trying to get the fuel cap door open, Googling like a manual release, trying to figure out a different way, and, and it's not opening. So I, I coasted home on fumes, made it here. As you can see, the gas light is yeah, it's on, I'm out of fuel. And this is the lever, the little switch, that's it. That's all you gotta do to open the fuel cap. But let's shut her off before uh, I run out of gas. Ready? We run around and uh, it, it, it works. Okay, wow. I have officially wasted everybody's time, energies, and effort. I was literally at the gas station for 10 minutes. It wouldn't open. I, I tried everything, I Googled it, I couldn't figure it out, come home and now the fuel cap's open. But you realize what this means, right? I'm driving to the gas station with this baby open. Yep, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy, because I'm not gonna risk it. Henry, what's up? What's going on? What you got? Foam car. Foam car. He's gonna do some treadmill work later. Two. All right, let's go. Jump! Oh, he did it! Wow, 100%. It's an important, it's an important day. We gotta put gas in the Bentley. Yep, 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 yep. It's a big day. I thought I was gonna have to like, well, I was okay to go back to the Bentley dealership. I like those folks, but um, I don't really have any money. You see right there? I'm driving around with an open gas cap on my Bentley. The wind just blew the fuel cap down. All right, step one accomplished. We made it to the gas station. You're done for. Okay, okay. The whole time you look like a complete idiot driving around your Bentley with your gas cap open. It's just shut. Yeah, you got nothing. Did it open? You got nothing. Did it you open? You got nothing. As, yeah, it's definitely not open. Oh, what about it's now? It's not open. No, it's oh, not no, open. Oh, no, no, it open. Not... Don't close it. Look, just Don't close, close it. it. You're good. Oh, yeah, you're good. I didn't know I was supposed to not. I closed it. You guys don't understand how stressful a minor thing like that on a Bentley uh, is. You guys don't uh, own Bentleys. You know, it's it. so <laughs> you hard being a Bentley owner. It's, oh, woe is me. Life. Where she stops, nobody knows. 100, oh, it's it's not full. It's not full, <laughs> it stopped at 100. I need it to be full so I can drive the car again. We're gonna reset and put more gas in. All right, take two. We gotta get all the fuel we can. Okay, we got an additional 0 .035 gallons in. We're, we're good now, we're full. I mean, I know gas is expensive and all, but is that all you can do, <laughs> 17 <laughs> cents? Like, bro, you need, are you thirsty? You look no, thirsty, you need no, a drink? I don't need anything. You haven't I drink anything? In, well, I know, I, that's I what I'm getting. You know the repair bill was like well, seven grand, it, and now it. the Bentley cap, I gotta save up for when it does break permanently. That may be the best Lamborghini that you own. Thank you. <laughs> Look, quick question, who's faster? This or that? Is this a V12? W12. W12. This has yeah. to be fast. I mean in a foot race. Oh, you and me? Yeah. Yeah, you're faster. <laughs> no, no, I guarantee you win. There are a few mods coming to this car soon that hopefully will make it a lot faster, but Whoa. maybe we race. I don't have any mods. I'm just trying to keep the fuel cap working. <laughs> Did you see what's on your hood, bro? Yeah, it's-, it's What happened there? It's poop. W12, boy. Right? Ooh. W12, boy, that'd be dope. <laughs> that's like, Ooh. that's the biggest flex I, ever. I think w we have to ask Luke. Uh -huh. Can we do that? Is that allowed? As long as it's B-O-I. B-O. W12, boy. boy. <laughs> you only got to accentuate the I. <laughs> so title of today's video is, I'm an idiot, but nothing's new there. We're, we're standing around Gabin, talking about ra in the background the whole time is the Bronco. I didn't even recognize it. That's crazy. This is, I think this is still mine. That's what Dave what says. What do you do to this thing? Oh, so I see the in new color. The inside's painted, uh -huh. but this is what it looks like with the top off. And I'm going to be honest, I like the look. Dude, top off 100% all summer. Dude, Oscar back there in the Ooh. summertime, me and Oscar. Yeah. That sounds incredible. Yep. That thing's sick. This is cool. All right, should we show it? I think this door opens here. Don't break it. Yeah, I, I, I don't dare. I don't. I don't know. How does how does how do doors work? Fuel caps down. Ah, oh, Dave's the man. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Okay. Seriously though, I'm more excited about this Bronco than I even thought I would be. I mean, I was pretty excited, but now I'm super excited. I hope Alex Lambo Jesus, you're approving of what we're doing so far. Was just talking to Luke about some seats, interior. We're gonna need to do some like freshening up. And seriously, we take this baby out and we put it in a couch. Back here is like limo style in the summer, snow cones, slurpees, steaks, pizza, whatever, just chilling. We're still gonna have the front bumper issue. I haven't found one yet. There's not really an aftermarket for 93 Bronco bumpers. So if anyone out there knows where I should get like a custom front bumper, let me know, comment below. All right, let's check out the top in the secret lair. Okay, this is clean. 
Now we're not going white, we're not going green. Remember everyone, we're gonna go black on this. This is pretty cool. He's gonna paint that later today. So we're going black on that soon. And then the rest of the Broncos should be done in one to two weeks. I'm pretty excited. Was that, did I sound excited? You didn't, didn't sound excited, you sound excited. Sound excited. <laughs> come on. It's early, but it's come early. on, dude. I'm excited. It's being painted black. I'm hungry, but I'm How excited. How are you, I offered you a chocolate nut butter. I legit, off camera, offered him a chocolate nut butter. He's like, no, oh, I'm too good for that. It's like. <laughs> we obviously will need to upgrade the wheels and possibly get a better lift on here as well. But this thing is like, it's becoming my, my favorite, but don't tell my Bentley. I still think the Shelby is my favorite though, but this is gonna, this is gonna compete. Seriously, the combo of cars here is so cool. I love the fact that they're so different. They each provide their own kind of experience and fun level. That's a road trip car. That is uh, go five miles and no further car. See you guys. See ya. Bye. Have, ya. have fun. Let's hear the fun. <laughs> We're gonna just jump into the quiet and sensible Bentley here. Oh, that exhaust, that exhaust is nuts. Soft closed doors. I'm sorry everyone if it felt like I was being dramatic about the fuel cap, I wasn't 100%. I was at the gas station, I couldn't get it open. It didn't work, I was stressed out, I was on fumes and I was worried about what it would cost to repair it. Bentley's, things like that, these cars, it's stressful, it's real, but it's working now. I think we're good though, which is relieving, but that's how stressful Bentley ownership can be. But the Bronco though, seeing it in that form looked so sick, at least to me, I was so excited to see the progress to see the green. I'm not a big green guy. Like, I'm not the Hulk, obviously. I wish I was the Hulk, but I'm not, I don't use a lot of green. I don't have green clothes. So I was nervous about going green with the Bronco, but I think Dave nailed it. And with the black accents, I really think it's gonna look good. I'm excited to see the finished product. Also to see it with the top off, I'm stoked to cruise around that thing in the summer. I'm, it's just gonna be so dope. I'm over the moon excited about the progress of that vehicle and there's so much more that we can do to it and it's so much more cost effective to do that to that bronco than it is to other cars families with that all being said i appreciate y'all sticking around and joining me for this journey again next video or the video after that like i promised hellcat mod finally i appreciate all of you i wish you all the best of luck make sure you go crush it peace